Hello, everyone. In this lesson, we will introduce the emergency generator control panel. Above the emergency generator control panel are some indication meters. These indication meters are used to indicate the emergency generator current. Operating hours. Frequency. Voltage. Power. And the power factor. In the middle of this panel are some indicator lights. These indicator lights are used to indicate the operating state of the emergency generator, which are respectively emergency generator AC 440 volt low insulation alarm, 220 volt low insulation alarm, emergency stop circuit source fault alarm, emergency generator start failure alarm. If overspeed fault occurs, emergency generator will raise shutdown alarm. This is DC 24 volt source available indicator. Emergency generator standby indicator light. Emergency generator running indicator light. Emergency generator common alarm. The alarm from the control box beside the emergency generator will be integrated into a general alarm and sent to the emergency switchboard for indication. This is the emergency circuit bar spar close and open button indicator. Main switchboard source indicator light. If the main switchboard has electricity, the emergency generator needs not to be started. Therefore, it is necessary to check the status of the main switchboard on the emergency switchboard. If the power supply on the main switchboard is normal, then the emergency bar spar is supplied by the main switchboard. It is not necessary to start the emergency generator. The buttons and rotary knobs below are used for emergency generator related control functions. The first is the emergency generator sequence test. You can keep the main power on. Test the emergency generator. When it comes to testing, turn this knob to the on position. The emergency control system will send out an analog power failure signal. The connection switch between emergency switchboard and main switchboard is open. Emergency equipment lost the power. The testing begins. The emergency lights in the emergency generator room were found to be off. The emergency generator should start up and power the emergency switchboard within 45 seconds. When emergency light is on, it indicates that the emergency power system is well supplied. This is a control mode selection knob of the emergency generator. It should choose automatic mode in normal. If the main switchboard is out of power, the emergency switchboard will give instructions to start the emergency generator. These two switches are the closing and open switches of the main switch of the emergency generator that corresponds to this switch. This button resets the main switch. If the main switch has an abnormal trip, you can reset it here. This is the emergency stop button. This button is in series with the emergency stop button on the control box besides the emergency generator. This is the lamp and buzzer test button. Used to test the buzzer and indicator lamp for emergency switchboard. This is buzzer stop button. This is the buzzer to indicate the sound alarm. This is the control mode selection knob 
for the bus tie circuit breaker. If the bus tie circuit breaker selects auto mode, when the main switchboard is powered and the 9-4 switch of ID 111 is closed, the bus tie circuit breaker will automatically close to supply power to the emergency switchboard. If you choose menu mode, we can use these two buttons to control the bus tie circuit breaker manually. This is a space heater for coolant of emergency generator. This is the emergency generator space heater switch. Used for heating and dehumidifying in emergency generator. This is the flicker stop button. This is the alarm reset button. Below are two knobs. It is used to switch the current and voltage of each phase of the emergency generator. In the middle is the engine governor knob for the emergency generator. You can speed up or slow down emergency generator here. The isolation breaker on the right is located between the emergency generator main switch and the emergency switchboard for safety protection. If you disconnect the disconnecting switch, even if the emergency generator main switch is closed, the emergency switchboard cannot be connected to the emergency generator. It is in series with the emergency generator main switch. This is the introduction of the emergency generator control panel.